Wow, that was beautiful. So emotional. I can't believe how fast the semester's flown by. This feels like we're losing some family. I'm going to miss producer Jay and Kwa. Cole and Michaela were always there when we needed a laugh. We hope for the best for all our broadcast senior alumni. So with all of that talent, they're sure to go to places. This week has been sad for all of us, but we're so proud of all the seniors that are graduating with the class of 22. Speaking of, this week has been full of fun activities, celebrating all of our BHS seniors. I'm Bridget. And I'm Joey. And this is the WAMP TV Senior Episode. This week was a bit crazy. Watching all the seniors having a good time is always memorable. Take a look at some of the crazy things the class of 22 were up to this week. What? What was the question? One more time. My time at BHS has aged me like fine wine, as you can tell. Splendid. I love it. It's been awesome. I'm in retirement. We're moving to Florida. Yeah, it was a, an Explorer 300 raft. It was confiscated by uh, Mr. Reardon when I departed from Sunset Lake this morning at approximately 7.30 a.m. I brought a microwave and I brought popcorn in it too. So I'm making popcorn in every class. Today I have my Red Bull and then I have a tray for my Mary Lou's cup and I have pencils in it for my yearbook and I didn't think I needed a computer today. <laughs> um, I brought my crock pot. I was gonna bring an air fryer but my computer couldn't fit in it and I had a quiz today in math so I was like, Ms. Mulcairns, I gotta bring my computer so I had to bring my Crockpot. Um, I brought a cedar today for anything but a backpack day. <laughs> All I have is my laptop today. <laughs> This episode is full of fun. Here's Cole with our WAMP TV trivia on the years 2003 to 2004. Hello, and welcome back to another edition of WAMP TV Trivia. I'm your host, Cole, and today I'm joined by Michaela and Muffy in our ambiguously elderly outfits. How is everyone? <laughs> Pretty good. Good. <laughs> All right. So since seniors are graduating soon, we thought we would do some trivia surrounding the years that most of the graduating class were born in, which are 2003 and 2004. So you guys are gonna have 30 seconds to respond to each question and each one's worth one point. Are you guys ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, three babies. All right. I'm on four. Let me start mm -hmm. my glasses. So, oh, you'll have to erase that. Oh. Yeah. Our beautiful drawings. All right, we ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. What was the most popular film in 2004? Was it A, Spider-Man 2, B, Shrek 2, or C, Napoleon Dynamite? You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, so the answer, well, show me yours. Okay, you both got it right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey now. Okay. <laughs> Question two, who won oh. the Super Bowl in 2004? Was it A, the Patriots, B, the Green Bay Packers, or C, the Steelers? 2004? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you both got it right. Oh, okay, so we have some football fans in the audience. Mm -hmm. Not really. So, what was the most popular song in 2003? Was it A, Crazy in Love with Beyonce and Jay-Z? Was it In the Club with 50 Cent? Or was it Where is the Love by the Black Eyed Peas? Wait, what was the first one? Crazy in Love. Oh, I'm mad at you. Oh. Crazy in Love didn't even come out in 2004. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're done. Um, no, it did, that was the most popular song. Mm -hmm. oh yep, yep. So nobody got a point. Okay, I was a baby. I wasn't actually a baby, I wasn't born. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fourth question. What famous person died in 2004? Was it A, Michael Jackson, B, Ronald Reagan, or C, Nelson Mandela? 2004? Mm-hmm. Probably the hardest <laughs> one. Yeah, There's a few ambiguous answers here. Okay, it was Ronald Reagan. Yeah! So what's the score? Oh, what, this what, is, what was that score? Well, only Muffy got, got it. One. So three to Muffy. Oh. I like to think I'm him reincarnated. So either 
<laughs> Muffy could win. Either if you get a point, Michaela doesn't, or if neither of you get points, or okay. y'all could tie again, or I don't know. So I haven't been kinky. Final question: What influencer was born in 2003? Oh. Was it A. Maddie B. B. <laughs> Charlie D'Amelio, oh, or C. Sure. Jacob Sartorius? Oh, sure. 2003, 2004. 2003. I'm gonna go with my boy. Okay, let me see. Um. Oh, okay. So I think that means the Muffy's the winner, right? All right. Yeah! Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all three babies still. I really. All really, right. because I won. But did you guys have fun, though? Yeah. I mean, I won. That's our last, yeah. This is our last trivia. And this really is our last fun project to win. For this yeah. whole entire thing. Because I won. Yeah. So, yeah. I am very happy. All right. About losing. So, 4 1, and I'm an 4 2. So. Whatever, Ooh, whatever, that's whatever, all for this whatever. edition of Wom TV Trivia. We won't see you next time. One important part of high school is the advice that stays with us for a lifetime. It's important to have people to rely on, and our faculty here at BHS give some of the best advice. Here's some of that advice from our BHS staff to our seniors. You've learned a lot here in Braintree over the last 12 years. Take what you've learned, take chances, be good to each other, be good to people you don't know. Life is what you make of it. Be yourself, seek your passion and um, surround yourself with people who truly care about you. Travel as much as you can and always keep speaking Spanish. Number one, never say no to free food, especially when you're poor. Number two, always make sure you have extra laundry detergent. Dream big, stay focused, work hard, be kind. Just let things happen and let them unfold and don't, don't feel stressed and relax. And Enjoy yourself. You just have to follow what you know is going to make you happy and lead to a lot of success and just bring you a lot of joy. Number three, Dawn Dish Soap takes out every stain you can imagine. And number four, keep a couple friends from high school. You don't need all of them, but the best ones will stay. Because you can do something doesn't mean that you should do something. Make all different kinds of friends. Life is so much more exciting when you have friends that have different interests and different ideas about life. Money isn't real. Don't mess with cars. Everyone's faking everything. Be wise, and I would say above all, guard your heart. It is the wellspring of life, right? And if you don't, I will hunt you down. I will throw this at you. Follow your own path. Take adventures. Have fun, most of all, and make a lot of new friends. And you're just going to be having wonderful successes. Keep an open mind about the world, because after you graduate, things are a lot different than you probably expect them to be. Just be good, be good for something, be good to those around you. You know, you don't need to, to change the world, you can just change the community that you're in, change your life, change the lives of those around you. We wish you all the best of success. Take care. Good luck. In your life, so best of luck. Best of luck. Congratulations, class of 2022. See you on June 4th. Bye. Who is ready for some more fun? Kwa asked some of the questions from when the seniors were in first grade. And Emma asked some about freshman year of high school. Let's see how well these seniors know their facts. Hi, I'm Kwa, and welcome back to another WAMP TV Senior Trivia. With me today is Deirdre and Chris, and I'm going to be asking them five questions about 2010 and 2011, which is basically the year where we were first graders. You guys ready? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of a freebie, all right? What was the highest earning film worldwide in 2011? Is it A, Lord of the Rings, B, Forrest Gump, or C, Harry Potter? Oh, do so. so. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was pretty easy. Good. Alright, one on one. Second question. Which song was the highest placing on the 2010 billboard? Is it A, TikTok by Kesha, B, Mind by Taylor Swift, or C, Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus? A lot of tension here. Party in the USA. All right, the actual answer is A, TikTok by Kesha. You guys know that song? Yeah. Yeah. TikTok. yeah. I was actually surprised too. I thought it would be C. Yeah. It's all right. This is a one to one. <laughs> we're not as good as we thought we were. All right, third question. Who was the highest subscribed YouTuber in 2010 and 2011? Is it A, Ryan Higa, B, Fred, or C, Shane Dawson? Wait. 
You thought it was PewDiePie, wasn't it? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even listening to the answers. Shane Dawson. All right, neither of you are correct. It's actually <laughs> Ryan Higa. Well, I don't know who that is. We keep guessing the same thing, dude. Who's Ryan Higa? It He's like a PewDiePie. I thought he had like. No, this was like, like back when like he wasn't that big yet. I, don't know. I thought he was like the first to get big. Oops. He no, I think 2010 was like Ryan hit like who's the first guy to hit two million subs. He's like a skit guy. Oh, okay. Uh, All right, sense. next one. Which was the best-selling video game of 2010? Is it A, Wii Sports, B, Mario Galaxy 2, or C, Call of Duty Black Ops? This is tough. There's no way. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do some sort of like tiebreaker hopefully. Alright, so it's two two it right now. This is the last question. And then we might have to do a tiebreaker. Or I might just pick someone. Alright, last question. Which American T V series ended its original run in twenty ten? Is it A the X Files, B Criminal Minds, or C twenty four? What was the first one again? The X Files. Sure. The X Files. If you know this, you win. I have no idea. The X Files. All right, so Deirdre wins. Then. Oh, <laughs> it's twenty-four. Unbelievable. And it What's run, twenty-four? It's, I have no it's idea. like some show about like the, all three of them are about like crying. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. They follow some guy. Unlucky. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> looks like Deirdre is going to be our winner today, and uh. That's it for this episode. We'll see you never. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Womp TV Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and today I'm joined by Margot and Tim. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Doing great. great. Since seniors are graduating soon, we thought we would do some trivia surrounding the years from when the graduating class were freshmen, 2018. You'll have 30 seconds to respond, and each question is worth one point. Are you guys ready to play? I was born ready. Ready to roll, ready to roll. Okay, let's get started. The first question. What was the most popular song in 2018? Was it A, Old Town Road by Lil Nas X, B, God's Plan by Drake, or C, Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake? Okay, ready? Show me your boards in three, two, one. The correct answer was B, God's <gasps> Plan by Drake. <laughs> Next question. Who won the Super Bowl in 2018? Was it A, the Giants, B, the Patriots, or C, the Eagles? Three, two, one. The correct answer was C, the <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> what? All right, two zero. Number three, what was the viral household cleaning product people were advised not to eat back in January 2018? Was it A, Tide Pods, B, Clorox Wipes, or C, Dawn Dish Soap? Three, two, one. You're correct. So the right answer was A, Tide Pods. Three for three. All right, number four. What was the most popular movie back in 2018? A, Aquaman. B, Black Panther, or C, Spider-Man? This is tricky. God, this one. Okay, <laughs> three, two, one. The correct answer was B, Black <laughs> Panther. <laughs> Gone to forever. <gasps> You're kidding. Can I get a score check? What's the score? Okay, <laughs> three, one, Tim is winning. The last question. Back in 2018, Mason Ramsey became famous after singing in what store? Was it A, Stop and Shop, B, CVS, or C, Walmart? All right, three, two, one. You are both correct. The right answer was C, Walmart. All right, we have a winner. The winner is Tim. Thank you, thank Great you. Great job, guys. Congratulations, Tim. That's all for this edition of Womp TV Trivia. It's hard to believe that this is our goodbye to some of our favorite people. I don't know about you, but I feel like I've made friends in this class that feel like family. 
Yeah, ever since I was seven, I grew up learning and playing football with some of these guys. I'm definitely going to miss them when September comes around and they are there for the first time. Let's take a look at the seniors' well-deserved last day. I don't know, this is crazy. I never thought I'd be here. I did. I know I was going to graduate, but this is crazy. I don't know. This is awesome. Bye, guys. I I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't think I was going to graduate. Last year I wouldn't have graduated, so to be here feels good. Peace out, Brain Tree High. I'm very sad. <laughs> Yo, that car is high school does not end. Even though this chapter in the seniors' lives is coming to an end, we know they'll all be successful wherever they end up. We can't wait to see what everyone does in the future. This is it for this year's episodes of WAMP TV. Make sure you follow us on WAMP TV on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. We hope you have an amazing summer, and we'll see you next year on WAMP TV. TV.